Hello and welcome to Good Horrific. In this video, you will learn how to convert input shapes between different layers in Keras. Remember that every problem has more than one programming solutions and this video is about one of those. In this program, I'm going to first write a simple CNN model. And uh, as you can see in this architecture, besides first input layer, there is one two-dimensional convolution block that contains activation which is exponential linear unit and it is followed by uh, two-dimensional max pooling and if you notice that we are going to repeat the same convolution block again as a uh, second convolution but after adding LSTM and dropout and uh, at the end we will be flattening our uh, output obtained from second two-dimensional max pooling and after adding dropout we will end the model after adding two dense layers here as you can see there are two reshape inputs uh, which are actually reshape layers and uh, this is because when we are going to add lstm layer after max pool 2d the output of 2d max pooling is four dimensional but lstm takes Three dimensional input so here we have uh, added reshape layer so that we can convert four dimensional output to prepare three dimensional input for lstm this convolution layer will take four dimensional layer but the output of lstm layer is three dimensional so here we have added a reshape layer we will be expanding the output from lstm so that the three-dimensional output is converted to four-dimensional format to be processed as input by second block of 2D convolution. So this is the architecture. Let's start programming. So I have opened my spider. This is a Python editor that comes uh, with Anaconda. And uh, as you can see here, I have already imported my important libraries that I am going to use in this program. The first one is TensorFlow as TF and uh, Keras.models. I have uh, imported model from it. And uh, as Keras layers, I have imported input 2D convolution, ELO activation, max pooling 2D, flattening, dense, dropout, LSTM, and reshape. In the beginning, I am going to mention my input shape. And uh, let's say, for example, my input shape is 100 by 80 and it is a uh, colored image which is rgb format and to add the first convolution block i have added convolution 2d library and uh, it uh, has uh, uh, 32 number of filters with stride 3 by 3 and uh, i have kept the padding same and uh, it will take input image as input okay next i am going to add my uh, exponential linear unit activation and uh, its input is uh, whatever uh, this convolution 2d has generated or in other words it's convolution one variable and the next thing i am going to add max pool 2d we have added uh, one convolution block so let's run our code so far okay now if i print convolution one variable we are getting the shape of uh, four dimension output and it has 32 filters with shape 100 by 80 and uh, after convolution we have added uh, activation and after doing max pulling on uh, ELO activated output i'm going to print pool one data and uh, as you can see here final output we got is four dimensional the first one none represent always the batch number or the sample number sample size now we are going to add our lstm block so here i have uh, used my uh, lstm uh, that contains units five and i have kept written sequences true so let's uh, try this one first before we go to reshaping pool one i'm going to input pool one to my lstm layer and let's see 
what does it say i'm going to run the lsdm with robot so as you can see here it is giving me value error which says the input zero of layer lsdm is incompatible with the layer expected number of dimensions three but four were given pool one has four dimensions but to process the lsdm we need to convert it into three dimensions how we are going to use it we are going to use reshape layer from keras to reshape our pool output data i'm going to write it here reshape is equal to reshape and it will take size of new dimension so i am going to pass my pool one shape reshape layer takes two parameters first one i have mentioned is negative one and the second one i have mentioned the shape two index from pool one shape so if i print here the shape of pool one data you can see it has four dimensions uh, zero one two and three so what does this mean here i am saying saying that uh, arrange my pool one data according to the shape index 2 of pool 1 and uh, negative 1 means that i am leaving the rest up to keras to decide uh, or how it will manage the data the only thing we need to mention is to give one dimension and it will keep the rest as it decides so if you want it you cannot change this parameter it will stay as it is which is negative one so we want to enforce keras to take control and uh, uh, rearrange our pool one data only based on the shape index two of pool one so i have defined my reshape layer next i am going to pass input to this layer so i'm going to run this line and uh, let's print reshape and now you see here that the four dimension is converted to three dimension now we are good to go and we can pass this reshaped data to our lstm layer i'm going to run lstm uh, followed by a drop out layer and if i print my drop one you will see that my input data that i obtained in reshape is processed now after lstm i'm going to add second block of 2d convolution and to do that i am going to copy this block and will replace convolution 1 to convolution 2 okay so i have replaced uh, everything to stay unique in second block of uh, 2d convolution as for now i have added drop one input and passed it to convolution 2d remember that convolution 2d takes four dimension parameter and if i run this line we will get the same array that we obtained for lstm before we reshape it says that expected number of dimension for 2d convolution is four but we found number of dimension three we are going to reshape our output obtained from top one we are not going to use the reshape layer for keras but instead we are going to expand the layer and to do that we are going to use tensorflow i'm going to create a variable extended shape that will contain the extended layer and uh, i am going to use expand dimension function of tensorflow and i am passing drop one data i print drop one shape you can see that it has three dimensions but if i add negative one here it means that i am going to say to tensorflow that add one dimension a new dimension will be added after five and it will be one 
So let's run this line. Sorry, there is an error that says there is no attribute function and uh, uh, I mistakenly add dot instead of underscore. So this is complete name of function. Let's run it again. And if I print extend shape, you will see that drop one layer data has uh, four dimensions and uh, you can see that the dimension one has been added at the end of five. Now that we have prepared over three dimension and converted it to four dimension, I am going to pass this input to my 2D convolution, which is second block. And let's run this block. I'm going to pre pull two. And uh, as you can see here in my um, input data that uh, I got from extended shape has been processed. Now I am going to add my flattening layer with dropout followed by two dense layers okay now i am going to define my model that will take input image as input and will generate output as obtained here in this variable and i'm going to name this model as model and to print the model i am going to print this summary or you can enclose this inside the print now i am going to print my model as you can see in the python console my model is ready to be trained and um, i have successfully changed the shapes according to my different formats of layers inside my model this is it for this video thank you for watching i hope you find it helpful if you did do like and share also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video if you have any suggestions leave them in comments section i will do consider it thank you